Clap your hands and turn to somebody and say, I love you just the way you are. Lord of all, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Lord, you are glorious, you are Lord of all. Lord, you are wonderful, Lord, you are glorious, you are Lord of all. You are Lord of all, faithful and true. Lord of all, worthy of you. Lord of all, we lift up our voice to let this earth rejoice. Hello, everybody. Lord of all. That's a Carmen Lichardello. His actual name is Carmen Carmenita Lumique Lichardello. And but most people know him as Carmen. He wrote that song so many years ago. And I used it, I sang it probably thousands of times over the years. All over the world, I opened my services uh, for many, many years with that song. People loved it, got into it, whether it was at TBN, on the set, in the live revivals. That was at Chapel Hill Harvester Church before the great cathedral was built. I started going to Chapel Hill Harvester back in 1978 after being introduced to that ministry uh, through Bishop John Mears of, the, of uh, the Evangel Temple, now the Evangel Cathedral, Pastor Baldani Mears, his son in Cap Springs, Maryland. Well, first of all, for those of you who've been concerned about my mom, 
Last week I made reference to her. She had actually had the stroke on the Wednesday that we taped. I aired the show on Friday, and um, but we brought her home Friday. She's here now tonight. She's been eating better. Um, she's still confused somewhat and disoriented and has a little bit of a speech impediment. Her words don't come out accurately. She's 91 and cannot be normally treated with the MRI because she has a defibrillator that is in compliant or non-compliant with the MRI machines in this area. So we don't know whether she's bleeding from her brain slightly or there's no swelling that we know of or a blood clot. She's taken the little aspirin, which I've never seen her take an aspirin in my life. For some reason, for at least the last three days, she's taken that little tiny aspirin that thins her blood, but then that would make bleeding anywhere even more prolific. So it's probably just a matter of time. So we are facing and bracing ourselves for the inevitable. We live, we die, we live until we die, and then we live again. Of course, as I said in my post, whatever happens, we're just gonna go with the flow, even if part of that flow is our tears. And we all have them, they flush the soul. But anyway, good report, mama's doing good. And I just feed her breakfast every morning. We all do everything we can to help her. Brought her home from the hospital, put her in her nice walk-in bathtub that I just bought her and let her just soak. And we just dote on her. And I give her things she probably doesn't need, like cookies and stuff like that. But she's mama. And I don't mind saying I'm a mama's boy. Been that way. And I think my brother is too, as I said earlier. He, he, he's the one that found her sprawled out on the floor. So we're close to our mother. Anyway, thank you for your prayers. You've been so kind, so many inquiries, so many texts and calls and people wanting to know. So mama's doing good and we believe she'll live however long God intends her to or maybe she chooses to. It's all good. Donnie McClurkin's with us again tonight. Living, he love me, dying, he save me, buried, he carry my sins far away. We never get tired of that song. He didn't just sing it at Azusa. He sang it all over the country, but he also sang it at our church, Higher Dimensions. And you're going to see him and hear him and, and more importantly, feel this song. This is the gospel. He's Christian gospel. He's going to be singing it at Higher D, just having a good old overall time, which we had every time we gathered. And you'll have that time with us tonight. Uh, Donna McClurkin and uh, Living He Love. Who do you call them? Wonderful counselor, you say. Oh, 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 glory, hallelujah. Oh, 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 glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory. glory, hallelujah. To the risen Tell me who do you come? I got a wonderful counselor, say. Oh, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
despise and reject it, bearing our sin, our remember when I the last time I heard this song except when Mike showed it to me as one that we're gonna air tonight and it I knew I now remember why it was one of my favorite songs and why I asked her to do it in that Sunday night service and it a higher D which is higher dimensions for those of you who don't know back in 1992 you feel the Holy Ghost it, it, it will remind you it's called I tried him uh, which saying I've tried him and I know that he's trustworthy. It makes you think of answered prayers, not unanswered prayers. There are always some prayers that seem to be unanswered, uh, or at least you don't get the desired uh, results, but there's enough. 
when you prayed as long as I've prayed and as many times as I've, as I've prayed and my mama prayed and her mama prayed and my dad prayed and his dad, you, you just have thousands and thousands, almost uncountable blessings. And when you feel low or down or in despair or hurt or hopeless, think of the goodness of God. And like the songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out or my soul looks back and wonder how I got over. Everybody has a testimony. So this song really blesses and you can see how it crescendos while she's singing it and the choir is backing her. And then the anointing is filling the whole room and people start breaking and into worship because they're thinking about their blessings more than their bruisings. And the time you should think of your blessings the most is when you're feeling bruised. Let this song bless you. I tried it. Try it. So heavy laden and burning down I did not know just
I have known Pastor Clint Brown for many, many years, and millions do through Rod Parsley's ministry for years. He was his, uh, his uh, minister of music and somewhat of a minister, associate minister. He has that good old rich UPC background, as like Gary Oliver. These guys are great musicians, great singers, great songwriters, amazing preachers. One thing I liked about UPC, United Pentecostal Church, they're predominantly a white church, Southern church, but they clap on the second and fourth beat and they shout and dance like we do. And their musicians play a Hammond B3 with a Leslie speaker like any black musician I've ever, or any Kojic or PAW. So I have a lot of fun with that. Clint now pastors in Orlando, Florida. He actually bought the building that Benny Hinn owned. And I used to go to Benny Hinn's church and preach quite a bit when he'd go overseas. I'd always go down and preach for him on the Sundays. He couldn't be present. Then later on, I think Mark Sharona was going to get it, and I was pulling for Mark Sharona, and then my friend Clint Brown got it, built it up. He's still pastor. I don't think they have that building now. But he's a great songwriter. He joined us at CBN when we had a, a small Azusa, Azusa under a tent meeting. Right on the campus of Regent University there, we had like a three-day Azusa. And he drove up from Florida and was a part of us. And uh, so I want you to hear these songs. He's a great writer. But this song, Lord, I Praise You, he wrote it, and he's singing it and you feel his anointing. You feel, I use the word anointing a lot. It's the word Meshach, Meshach, from where we get the word Mashiach, which is Messiah, uh, anointed one. The word Meshach uh, is oil that it, it comes from olives that have been crushed. It's the olive, not just the olive skin, but the olive seed has been crushed. And that is then put on you. So the olive oil comes from the whole olive itself. I've been in Israel and I've seen these troughs and these big stones that roll over the olives, pours it into, into the oil. People cook with that, people anoint, people bathe. It's, it's, a, it's almost like a cosmetic for some people. But when you're being crushed, it, it oozes out of you, your oil, that divine lubrication of self and soul that helps you go through the narrow, difficult portals of life. Uh, without being rubbed raw. When you're being rubbed raw, that means you're going through it without the anointing. But when you carry the anointing, and you have the anointing, and it oozes out of your spirit, it is poured upon your spirit, you can go through anything. The anointing destroys, not just breaks, it literally destroys, scripture says, yokes of bondage. So let your yoke, whatever it might be, be, be destroyed tonight in all these programs, when all these presentations, when you feel and experience and then later express that anointing. Powerful. I, I just want to remind you and leave you with Lord, this. In all you do, Lord, give him I thanks. Pray. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. Lord, I praise you. And Lord,
face of it all. If you're watching us right now, lift your hands wherever you are and just say these words. Pray. Come on, just say praise. Late in the midnight hour, just like Paul and Silas, I'm going to give you the praise. <laughs> just like David in the cave, he said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. been a blessing to you and I know it has we want you God begin to speak to me we want those of you that will start tonight for the next year we're ending 2020 and we're going into 2021 but for the, for the next year if you will make if you would just see commit. that commit you could go down the information is on the screen and if you could go whether you want to do cash app or you want to do PayPal or however you want to do it, if you could just commit to plant a seed for the next year of $21, $21 for the next year. Every month, every month, $21. And we could get over 4,000 people that will make a pledge. And even tonight, start off tonight, sow a seed every month for $21 into this ministry. We believe that this needs to be done, uh, be, be seen from generations to generations. You know, we're having to explain to our children some of the artists because a lot of the artists have gone on to be with the Lord, but those songs are still ministry to us they this have day. The power, they have power, they have the anointing, the presence of God. And the, the whole idea is to help remind the saints of the hope keeping the hope in the flame of God a burning strong uh, this this is something that can be passed down through generations now this so a lot of the videos you've seen happened in 1994 and here it is beyond that and it still has the same power the same presence I never get tired of hearing it so it's worthy of your support it's worthy twenty dollars is not going to do twenty one twenty one dollars is not yes. going to have a yes. negative effect on anyone's yes. life twenty one dollars for all of twenty one twenty one dollars for all of two thousand twenty one that's twenty one dollars a month and we will help to continue to remind the saints of the hope twenty one dollars for every month, $21. And I believe, Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone yes. who's been blessed by this ministry yes. will sow that seed of $21 yes. every month for the next year. God, let them be tremendously blessed. Take them to the next level, whatever they're standing in the need of. God, you showed me over 4,000 people. And God, you said you would do exceedingly and abundantly all that we can ever ask think or imagine. Yes. And it is so, God. Cause testimonies to come forth. We ask you to touch the visionary of this Azusa revisit, God. Yes. Touch him in such a yes. way, God. Yes. We ask you to bless him, bless each and every one that's tapping into this particular anointing, and we believe there's an explosion that's going to take place because we are revisiting Azusa Street. God bless you. Again tonight, we offer the inimitable the inimitable pastor, Bishop Marvin Winans, singing really two songs that he wrote, and he performed them on the Tyler Perry show the same night I think Gladys Knight was there. The song is, I'm over it now, and we all need to get over it, whatever it is. It can be a private term, because he adds to this song, uh, you just don't want to know. 
but I'm over. Or we always talk about things we've been through, but we never tell at all, and we shouldn't. But you do need to get over it. We get through it, but we also need to get over it. That's important, not just getting through it, but learn to get over it and past it to the next phase or next iteration of yourself and soul. But uh, this is a, a beautiful set, and um, Marvin makes a powerfully beautiful and anointed presentation of lyrics of his spirit. These two songs, and while he's singing it, think of what you need to get over, and don't think that you have to tell anybody about it. Between you and God, the part of yourself that is divine, you will love this, and it'll make you think, recall, and remember your dismembered self. <laughs> Martin Wines. Cried so many hours Trying to make it right Just didn't have the power And you ignore In the hopes they disappear I try to let it go But I guess You just don't want to know And if I had a dime For every time I try Learned that I could cope. Well, 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 well. I discovered I I could make it. Oh, 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 oh. in nights so long and cold, so cold, you don't know how cold. I discovered I I could take it. Now I wouldn't change a thing, no, no. Not for the knowledge, not for the knowledge that I've gained. Let me say it like this. I learned that I could grow. But I'm over, said I'm over. Oh, oh, oh. 
what I'm going to be. But I feel you just don't. Anybody know what I'm talking about this evening? I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of time moaning, uh, not mourning, but moaning and sometimes groaning when I pray. Uh, the, the scripture says we know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Holy Ghost makes intercession for us with groanings and or moanings which cannot be uttered or that's actually, they defy speech to alter their, to utter. There's no speech sometimes, no words to express what a moan does or what a groan does. I remember my grandmother used to stand when she, something really bothered her, uh, especially when she was seeing the civil rights m movement uh, down in the South back in the 50s and 60s when I was a little boy. They'd show it on television, people being hosed down, dogs attacking them. My grandmother, who was born in East Texas, uh, would stand in the door between the kitchen and the living room where her television was and I was laying on the floor. And she, she, of course, she was a holiness woman. She would never curse or anything, but she would go, mm, 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 and shake her head. And I'd glance back at her and I could feel her interceding for all those people who were being mistreated. We do that in prayer about a lot of things. When we, even when we are personally feeling like we're being mistreated by life, Twinkie Clark, is at Azusa in 1993, and we spontaneously called her to the platform to sing. The Winans are there, and they've been together like almost like family, all of us, I guess, for many, many years. But the Detroit group, anybody from Detroit, all the way up through Aretha Franklin, they're all connected in the spirit. One of the times I was with Vanessa Bell and the Clark sisters, all at, at uh, C.L. Franklin's church in Detroit, invited by Aretha the same night. Uh, so there's a connection, and we, and Aretha could moan, and Aretha could groan. So you're gonna feel the intensity of the moaning and the groaning. And if you have something to moan and groan about, don't mourn it, just groan it out, moan it out. Let the Spirit of God flow through you, not with words, but with unctions and moves in the Spirit and, and utterances of the soul. It'll bless you. It might heal you. Listen, Twinkie Clark. Even even when you don't know what to pray for, just moan in the spirit. You see, the devil don't know what you're saying when you moan. I got a witness. The devil don't know what you're saying when you moan in the spirit.
blessing to you and I know it has we want you God begin to speak to me we want those of you that will start tonight for the next year we're ending 2020 and we're going into 2021 but for the, for the next year if you will make if you would just see commit. that commit you could go down the information is on the screen and if you could go whether you want to do cash app or you want to do PayPal or however you want to do if you could just commit to plant a seed for the next year of $21, $21 for the next year. Every month, every month, 
$21. And we could get over 4,000 people that will make a pledge. And even tonight, start off tonight, sow a seed every month for $21 into this ministry. We believe that this needs to be done, uh, be, be seen from generations to generations. You know, we're having to explain to our children some of the artists because a lot of the artists have gone on to be with the Lord. But those songs are still ministry to us this day. They have the power, they have, they have the anointing, the presence of God. And the, the whole idea is to help remind the saints of the hope. Keeping the hope in the flame of God a burning strong. Uh, this, this is something that can be passed down through generations. Now this, so a lot of the videos you've seen happened in 1994. And here it is beyond that and it still has the same power the same presence i never get tired of hearing it so it's worthy of your support it's worthy twenty dollars is not going to do 21 21 dollars is not yes. going to have a yes. negative effect on anyone's yes. life 21 dollars for all of 21 21 dollars for all of 2021 that's 21 dollars a month and we will help to continue to remind the saints of the hope 21 dollars for every month, $21. And I believe, Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone yes. who's been blessed by this ministry yes. will sow that seed of $21 yes. every month for the next year. God, let them be tremendously blessed. Take them to the next level, whatever they're standing in the need of. God, you showed me over 4,000 people. And God, you said you would do exceedingly and abundantly all that we can ever ask think or imagine. Yes. And it is so, God. Cause testimonies to come forth. We ask you to touch the visionary of this Azusa revisit, God. Yes. Touch him in such a yes. way, God. Yes. We ask you to bless him. Bless each and every one that's tapping into this particular anointing. And we believe there's an explosion that's going to take place because we are revisiting Azusa Street. God bless you. We're going to close the program tonight with uh, one of my favorite songs that Carmen wrote, and it's titled, I Will Serve the Lord. Once I heard the lyrics, heard him sing it, heard the lyrics, sometimes he would let me hear the lyrics uh, before I actually heard the song. He was writing songs constantly, had hundreds of songs in him. This is one of his signature numbers for me. I loved it so much because it speaks my heart. All of us, they call me pastor, apostle, evangelist, bishop over the years. But I'll never be really more than a deacon, diakonos in Greek, which means attendant or servant. That's what we are first. We are in the ministry. The same word for ministry is the word deacon or diakonos. So we are servants and all followers of Christ, whether it's the Christ person, the Christ principle, or the Christ consciousness, are servants of the people. You love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, physical strength and body vertically, but you love your neighbor and serve your neighbor as you love and serve yourself. So this song is at um, uh, the World Harvest Church in Columbus, Ohio. Um, Rod Parsley, he, 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 m m many of you know who he is. I went there in 1993. I just actually met Gina in New Orleans and I came home, preached in Tulsa at our church, then flew up to, New, to uh, Columbus and called it at Eden. Ain't that beautiful? Uh, but I was talking about serving the Lord and this song really expresses the essence of my desire as a human being to continue serving God by serving you, by serving humanity, by finding a way to express and demonstrate the light and love of God in Christ for all. I think this song will move you. You'll see the crowd respond as it crescendos. They started standing up and they were feeling it. And I think many recommitted themselves just by hearing this song and I preached afterward. I think it'll bless you. I believe in God the Father, Jesus Christ his only Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit, distinct yet three in one. I believe there is forgiveness for all the wrongs we've done that is why all the more i will serve you i believe the son of god was crucified upon a tree he was laid within a borrowed tomb not far from calvary i believe he rose again alive for all the world to see 
that is why all the more I will serve him. I have made my decision, I've staked my claim, I've drawn a line in the sand, and I'll not be ashamed with the world behind me. I'm the cross before, by the grace of God, I will serve the Lord. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. I believe you must be born again. John 3, 16 is true. The old man can be washed away and everything made new. I believe the love of God can somehow find its way to you. That is why all the more I will serve Him. I made my decision. I have staked my claim. I've drawn a line in the sand. And I won't be ashamed with a word. And the cross before me, by the grace of God, I will serve the Lord. We have made a decision. We have stayed. We have drawn a line in the sand, and we won't be ashamed. serve the Lord Jesus you can count on me Lord I'm gonna give you my everything I'm, I'm gonna serve the Lord come on let's love him everybody hallelujah 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 and now let's pray in the name and nature of Jesus the Christ I pray and I say well done good and faithful servants I predict declare and decree that you will do well as well as be well done as created in the image and likeness of God whatever you're facing in your life however critical or pivotal it is there is an anointing providing and tailored for you at this time in your life whether it's financial whether it's your physical body whether it's the care you're giving for loved ones or the care you're not receiving from loved ones that cause you pain there is a god alive in you with you as you expressing itself through you in the universe thank you god you do with all things well we trust you that you heal that you restore, that you reconcile, that we remember our dismembered selves and are made whole. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. So it is. Good night. We'll see you next time. Peace. They're the names you've grown to love. They're the ministries you can't imagine being without. They've preached to millions all over the world. And it all began right here. This is Azusa.
next great move of the Holy Spirit would be among black people. The Holy Ghost just said, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm traveling around the world is because I came here in 1992 and I cannot forget the bridge that brought me over. Give God a great shot of praise. 